Today I'm here in Bulgaria and we're gonna see what's different here at McDonald's that you can't find in the US. So let's go. Just got the food, so I'm gonna show you guys what I got and what's different here that you can't really find in the US. So we got traditional just Coke. I wanted to try the Bulgarian fries, although McDonald's fries are pretty similar all around the world. We got a spicy chicken McWrap, which you can't really find in the US anymore. And I grew up on these, as I mentioned in the last McDonald's video, but I got another one of these because these are just so good. And then we got some spicy chicken wings here. I haven't seen them in Milan and I have not seen them in the US either, so it'd be interesting to see. Last but not least, we got a McFlurry with Kit Kat in it. Instead of Oreos, they have Kit Kat here and that's the only one other than like strawberry, chocolate, or caramel, so we're gonna go ahead and try all these out for you guys. And yes, I am definitely using this YouTube channel as an uh, excuse for eating McDonald's more often than I probably should. Okay, so first things first, a meal always starts with an appetizer. And for that, we have McDonald's fries. Go ahead and try it. Just your standard McDonald's fry. Pretty on par with the US fries, so probably give it a uh, six out of 10. I mean, McDonald's fries are good, but this is pretty standard from like what I'm used to, so not special, but not something that's like bad either. Next, we're gonna take a sip out of some Bulgarian McCoke. Bulgarian McDonald's Coke. Probably not much different, just probably Coke. It's just Coke. Okay, now onto the special items. So first we have a spicy chicken McWrap. The guy at the counter was saying, oh, it's not gonna be that spicy, and that they just put a little bit of spicy sauce on it. So let's open it up and check out what's inside. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that, but Right now we got the chicken and that orange stuff in there. You might not be able to see it, but on the bottom, I feel like that's the spicy sauce. And then pretty much pretty standard. There's lettuce, I see a tomato in there, some mayo. Pretty on par with a traditional chicken wrap, but with that little spicy sauce, I'm wondering how, to, how it'll taste and how spicy Bulgarians can actually handle their food. Without further ado, let's cheers to it. So I'll be honest, that was not spicy at all. Um, it's like more of like a sweet and sour type sauce where it's like, it's a good flavor for sure, don't get me wrong. I was expecting a lot, something a lot more spicier and it's more flavorful than spicy. But still a really good chicken wrap nonetheless. I think the chicken was really, really solid on it. Lettuce maybe wants a little bit more snap in it, if you know what I mean. But overall, a pretty good wrap. As for the wrap, I'll give the wrap a 7.5 out of 10. It was really good, the chicken's really solid. Sauce, not spicy, but still pretty good. Just overall a pretty solid wrap that you can get. But next we're gonna hit the chicken wings and try them out. Hopefully these ones are more spicy than the wrap. Okay, yeah, no, those smell actually very interesting, but pretty much they're like proper breaded chicken wings. I'm gonna take one out for you. Proper breaded chicken wing. It smells a bit spicy on it too. Just a bit though, not like too much, but it's definitely more breading than it is anything else. I'm excited to try this out. I've never seen anything like this offered at a McDonald's. So let's see how this is. Okay. After eating one of those chicken wings, that's probably the best thing I've had so far. 
The chicken's just really, really soft. The breading on the outside isn't crunchy. It's more like softer breading as well. I mean, sometimes you want fried chicken like proper fried, but this is a really soft fry, so it, it's almost like your teeth are eased into the chicken. I would honestly give that an 8.3 out of 10. Really, really good. Love the flavor of it as well. Highly recommend it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and finish all this food so I can go ahead and then enjoy some dessert. Just finished the meal. I feel like I'm in a food coma, but there's always space for dessert. So we're gonna go ahead and try out this Kit Kat McFlurry. It's kind of melted, but go ahead and try it out and give a rating for it. So it probably would be different if the ice cream was actually solid, but I will say the texture of the Kit Kat does not match well with the McFlurry at all. To me, I think Oreo McFlurries are still so much better than this. I think the waferness of the Kit Kat does not make it that good. So honestly, I would probably give this a five. It's like meh. I like Kit Kats, I like ice cream, I like McFlurries, but together they're just not that good. The meal came out to about 32 Bulgarian Lev, which is about, you just divide by half here, so it's about 16 euro, about 16 dollars, which is pretty expensive for a McDonald's meal, especially in somewhere like Bulgaria. But, what can you do? I'm definitely in a food coma but I'm gonna go for a walk to digest it. I hope you guys enjoyed Bulgarian McDonald's and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Today I'm here in Bulgaria at McDonald's and we're gonna see what's different here that you can't find in the US. So let's go.